How's it going? This is Ray with CosKid.com. I'm here to report Slim Jesus being upset by Capo's murder and Lil J going to jail for murder. Chicago proved to the world that it could produce some of hip-hop's most talented artists. But the streets played a villain in the Windy City's tragic tale. The city continues to lose some of its most talented artists and it doesn't appear to be ending anytime soon. Slim Jesus is highly influenced by Chicago's drill scene. This was evident in his viral drill time music video. In an interview with Vlad TV, Slim pointed out that two of the artists he was most influenced by are Capo of Chief Keef Glow Gang and Lil J. But Slim is upset that Capo and Lil J met unfortunate fates. I've had artists that I fuck with and that I want to hear music from either A die or B end up in jail over murder charge type shit, he said. It sucks to lose artists like that. Kappa was a big one. Him dying, Lil J getting locked up, he continued, I rock with his music. They were my main two. That sucked for me, both of them. Kappa was shot and killed Saturday afternoon, July 11th, in the south side of Chicago. Kappa was taken to the hospital where he later died. He was 22. Lil J is currently fighting for his life after he was charged with murder in May. The FBG Cloud Boy is being held without bail after his associate, Philmon Razine, died from his injuries sustained in the shootout, according to the Chicago Sun Times. Lil J was charged with Razine's death along with Rakeem Wilton, Rashinda Young, Monique Calhoun, and Brittany Dupree. Razine was shot in self defense following an argument with a 22 year old man in Calumet City. Lil J, Razine, and the group allegedly went to purchase weed from the 22 year old man, but an argument ultimately erupted. The group left and returned with the firearm provided by Razine's girlfriend, Young. The 22 year old was shot four times, but was also armed and fired back at Razine, who was struck several times, prosecutors told the Sun Times. Lil J, Young, Lane Cahoo, and Butter were arrested at the scene after police spoke with the 22 year old victim and witnesses. Police later arrested Dupree after spotting her leaving Lil J's apartment with a bag of handguns, including two used in the shooting. Razine died May 15th from his injuries in Stroger Hospital. If you would like to read more in this story, I have a link in the description for you. Thanks for listening.